I'm just saying that instead of driving down and then asking, why don't you identify? Oh, we already person. did. Okay, we did yesterday. How yeah, many people are coming up. There, there's uh, five families so far from yesterday. Okay. I don't know if there's any more today. That's why I'm going to walk through. Like these, this family here just told me that they don't want to go to Minneapolis, so that's a good one. Um, you see that big guy right there on the right of that truck? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see his it. name is Dean. Dean. Okay. Talk to Dean if you if you at some point you're going to plan it. Trying to help some of these people out of here. Okay. He's the guy to talk to, and, okay. and uh, he can help you with that. Oh, great. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. See people are take tearing down, which is a hard thing to see. And I have to say, yesterday there were probably about four or two days ago when I was here, there were probably about four or five tents along here, and they've cleared off. And I know there are more down here, so we'll take a look.
There's some up on the hill. I don't know if they'll be bothering those people or not because they're a little bit out of sight. And apparently out of sight, out of mind is a thing. Yeah. what some people will recognize here, the killer steps. And you can see there are issues of trash being places, but What we're talking about doing now is collecting stuff for people. How are you? Now I am streaming. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell me your secrets. <laughs> yeah, I won't right now. <laughs> I, I hope people recognize that the shelters are full and if police officers have offered this morning to drive people, they're driving to a closed shelter and the way the shelter system works is that you can reserve your bed when you leave in the morning when the shelter closes for tonight. And so for the hundreds of homeless people without shelter in Ramsey County. There will be 14 beds opening tonight that we'll say conservatively 300 people will buy for those 14 yeah. beds. And so there is no option. No and option. so there are volunteers from the community here today to drive people to Highland, McAllister, Groveland, St. Anthony, Como, Phelan, the east side, to be outside sleeping in those neighborhoods. Because if the city's plan is to disperse people to other neighborhoods, there are volunteers to help drive them to those neighborhoods. But there's nothing there in those neighborhoods. No, they'll just sleep outside yeah. there. And there's no community there. There's a community of people here. Well, the same issue is if people are concerned about health and safety or being prey to crime, all those same issues are present at other outside locations. It, it's not like there are good choices because no. there are the same issues here as there. The benefits can be that there are a lot of community volunteers coming here, so there are extra eyes and there can be extra security. 